Here today we have a quick look at our new motorized non-stop. Each winch will have its own hydraulic motor and up and down control and the hydraulic hoses from each winch come down and connect to this trunk line that we're calling it right now. Starts right there, goes underneath the mason's material boards, hooks to the other winch, and then this will either go to the hydraulic power unit or to the next scaffold. We're using these no drip, no leak, connect under pressure, quick connects. That's the basic unit there. Then we have the hydraulic power unit, which can be placed on the end of the scaffold, in the middle of the run, any end. If it goes in the middle of the run, you would connect uh, down to the next, going in the next direction with these two hookups here. Everything is well thought out and engineered, so you can only hook it up one way. Go ahead and start it up, Colby. There's no way you can um, hook it up wrong. Then to go up, just pull on that crank. Raise this scaffold about eight inches. That's about 10, 15 seconds. Okay, go to the next side, Colby. Oh, by the way, these are our uh, big gear blanks. We have enough of them on here to equal 2,500 pounds, about what a pallet of block weighs. Go ahead. If you notice the difference in the speed, this is the production motor. It's a little faster than the motor on the other side. Thank you, Colby. All right, there's eight inches, just that quick. Okay, let's bind it up on the other side. If you get a block, brick, wood, shovel handle, level, piece of trash in there, that the hydraulics don't break, if it gets jammed up, let's show you what happens. Go ahead, Colby. The whole system is engineered to stall. Okay, you can let go. There's no way you're gonna snap a cable, blow a hose, uh, have any problem like that. It's, uh, the system is balanced so that if you have, oh, as much as 6,000 pounds on the scaffold, you can still raise it, but when it's blocked like this, you can't. All right, show them how to uh, get out of this condition. Let's reverse it. and pull the obstruction out. All right, go ahead and uh, reverse, the, reverse the winch and let's let the scaffold down. Okay, let's go to the next side. When the wall's finished, uh, you can let the scaffold down. It's actually going to go a little faster than it went up. You do have to hold uh, the anti-reverse dog. All these clearances are set so that no one's going to get hurt. I'm not going to smash your finger or anything like that. Okay, thank you very much for your attention.